In this video, I'm going to be talking about surface tension and viscosity. Both of these are properties of matter that's existing in the liquid state. And also, both of them are properties that arise due to intermolecular forces between the molecules in the sample. As a reminder, intermolecular forces are the forces of attraction that exist between neighboring molecules. Let's focus on this beaker right here. This beaker is full of a bunch of liquid molecules, the spheres I'm using to represent a molecule in the liquid state. And I'm kind of drawing them haphazard, not really that orderly, trying to represent uh, what a liquid actually looks like at the molecular level. So as I said, surface tension arises due to intermolecular forces. Let's just start by thinking about how intermolecular forces affect these molecules in general. Let's focus on this molecule right here, down inside the liquid, this guy right here. This molecule is experiencing forces of attraction, intermolecular forces, between all of its neighbors. So it's gonna experience an intermolecular force with this neighbor and with this neighbor, and all of these intermolecular forces just kind of help to hold all of these molecules together, like this. Um, and similarly, the molecules that are along the surface of a liquid as well, they're also experiencing the same type of intermolecular forces. Let's focus along the surface, let's focus on these guys, this molecule right here. So this molecule is experiencing intermolecular forces with its neighbors as well. The only thing that's unique about the intermolecular forces experienced by this particular molecule, comparing it to this one down here, is that the molecule on the surface of a liquid, any molecule on the surface of a liquid, experiences intermolecular forces that pull it downwards into the liquid or kind of just along the side, but there aren't any molecules up above it, so there aren't any intermolecular forces to pull it up and away from, from the surface. In contrast, molecules that are inside, deep inside the liquid, they're experiencing intermolecular forces just kind of pulling them from all directions. So because the molecules on the surface of a liquid are only capable of experiencing intermolecular forces that just kind of pull them down or pull them horizontally along the surface, this causes the, the molecules that are on the surface of the liquid to have what we call tension. Um, the surface tightens and sometimes it even kind of buckles a little bit, so it develops a little bit of an arc to it. As you can imagine, the surface tension of a liquid is totally dependent on the strength of the intermolecular forces of that particular molecule. If we have a sample of molecules that have very strong intermolecular forces, that sample will also have a very high surface tension, which should be pretty logical, pretty easy to understand. If we have very strong intermolecular forces that are pulling this molecule down and also kind of locking it into place with its neighbors, we're going to see that this particular sample has a lot of tension among the molecules that are on the surface. And the molecules along the surface here are going to be held very tightly together uh, and the surface itself may kind of start to minimize and shrink a bit. Now moving on to viscosity. Viscosity is a measure of a fluid's resistance to flow. And I'm showing these two beakers as a way of hopefully describing um, two different extremes for viscosity. The beaker that I'm showing on this side has been tipped over and attempting to pour the contents of the beaker out. But as you can see, the beaker's contents aren't really pouring out that much. As you, you might imagine this as maybe being something like honey. You know, if you tip the jar over, it doesn't just pour right out. It takes its time just kind of slowly oozing its way out. This is a type of substance that's experiencing high viscosity, high resistance to flow, something like honey. On the other hand, this beaker right here, which I've also tipped over, the liquid inside this beaker just pours right out. So it's just poured right out onto the floor. Um, this would be a, a substance that has low viscosity, meaning that it has very low resistance to flow, uh, like water. Imagine pouring out a glass of water and how quickly that water just comes right out of the glass and pours right out onto the floor. Just like surface tension being connected to intermolecular forces, viscosity is also connected to intermolecular forces in the same way. If your substance has very strong intermolecular forces, we know that it is also going to have a very high viscosity.
in order for us to be able to pour these molecules out, we do have to kind of break the little intermolecular forces that they are experiencing with each other. Um, and so being able to successfully and easily separate these molecules from each other to get them to pour right out, that's a key component of, of having a high or low viscosity.